It was amazing. I couldn't believe it when I got the job. I was, I just, I mean, I'd been, yeah, I was 25. Um, I got a job at the Labour Party after university as a researcher. I did a, I did a, a sort of student, a youth job for the Labour Party and then became a researcher and then an economics researcher. And then I just got this opportunity from going, but I wasn't expecting to apply for it. They were looking for somebody and they offered me that role. And I know you don't want me to be political, but I mean, I'm immensely proud. I worked for a Labour government that lifted a million children up, out of poverty, pensioners out of poverty, that built sure start centres everywhere, which invested, record investment in the NHS. We took waiting times down from 18 months to 18 weeks. Stop and, you, it. and you know what, but look, I know you say stop it, but I want to say this, for 10 years, my party has almost been embarrassed by the achievements of that government. I mean, you know, we had the, well, we've had the, some pretty miserable defeats, one of the worst defeats in our history. You know, I would, we've got to stop being embarrassed and start celebrating what that Labour government achieved. That's the best government of my lifetime. That made material difference to people who, from my background, from working class communities, did great things. And the Labour Party for 10 years has failed to talk about it and the Labour Party's got to start talking about it again. Not to, not because we want to be uh, an historical reenactment society. We've got to build and put forward policies for the challenges of today. But my God, let's stop slagging off our achievements. That was a great government that redistributed wealth and lifted children out of poverty. That's a good thing. You came in shortly after.